I am Anil Kumar and now let us see how factoring techniques help us to find x-intercepts for the graph. Question is, find the x-intercepts for the graphs of the following functions. So we have quadratic functions here, four of them. I'll solve two for you, the other two are for you to practice. The first one is y equals to 8 minus 6x minus 4x squared. When we say x-intercept, that means what? x-intercept means that y value is 0, right? It means y equals to 0 for that particular point, right? So equating y equals to 0 in the equation, we get 0 equals to, now it's a good point to just rearrange it. Right? So I'll write minus 4x squared minus 6x plus 8. Okay. Now, for the right side to be 0, we can factor and then equate each factor to 0 to find possible x-intercepts. In this case, we see 2 is a common factor. So we can factor 2 from this group. So minus 2 also we can take common. So let's take minus 2 as a common factor. We're left with x squared. This becomes plus 3x. And half of 8 is 4 with a negative sign since we have taken minus 2 as our group factor. Now, we are looking for product of two numbers whose product is minus 4, correct? And the sum should be 3 plus. So, sum should be plus 3. Two numbers should be 4 and minus 1. Opposite signs, and we want product as negative. Positive sum means higher number is positive. So, we get this as minus 2 times x plus plus 4 times x minus 1, right? Now the right side is 0 for x equals to minus 4 or for x equals to plus 1. So these are the two x values. So x will be minus 4 or plus 1. That is the solution for us for this question. So the x intercepts are at x equals to minus 4 and at 1. The coordinate points will be at minus 4 will be minus 4, 0 and at 1 also y value 0, right? So 1 and 0, those are the coordinates for the x-intercepts, right? So that's how we solve it. Let's do the next one. So this time we'll equate y to 0 since it is x-intercept, right? x-intercept means y equals to 0. So we have 0 equals to 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. We can factor 2 common x squared minus 2x plus 1. We need a sum of minus 2 and product of 1. So the two numbers should be negative 1, right? So we get 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1, right? Or x minus 1 whole square. So that gives us just one value in this case, right? So the value is x equals to 1. So the x-intercept is at x equals to 1, correct? So this parabola is actually opening upwards at x equals to 1. So in this case, you can kind of sketch it. Let me do a small, small sketch here, right? Let me just squeeze it in kind of like this. Well, this point is at 1, right? So that is the parabola which will open upwards, correct? And this is your y-intercept of 2. So this point, you could write this point. Coordinates for this point is 1, 0. So that is how we can solve using factory and find x-intercepts of the graph. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and look into many applications on different topics. Thank you and all the best.